can be mad at Morrison. I'm not mad at him. But there's a lot of people mad at each other. More like Undertaker and Xavier Woods. More old Ooh. men in that cloud. Get the fuck out of here, man. The uh, yeah. so what? Uh, uh, tombstone? <laughs> Oh, hey, man, man, he, he, do, so he doing bad. what old men do, and I, you know, and it's the, we, 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 we all witness to we all witness to it or whatever. You I mean is it doesn't just apply to professional wrestlers? It applies to everything. It applies to music. It applies to sports. Yep. Everything is just like, oh, my generation was better than your generation. Especially <laughs> me being a, a military guy, whatever. It's like, oh, you you guys, like when I was coming through, oh, you guys, uh, you don't know nothing about hard times. We we did this. We went to freaking. You know Istanbul and whatever the fuck, whatever you know. So you don't know what hard is. We didn't have all the equipment and gear and shit right, you got. Right. You know, so it's just classic right, old man right. talk. Let him talk his shit. I rather him, crazy. you know, Joe Rogan talking shit than dag on trying to create <laughs> freaking thought provoking storylines and promos in the motherfucking wrestling ring. Stay your old ass it's over true. there. Do <laughs> that. It's true. Do that. Stay your lane. You know what it is? Though, lane, what I what man. I seem to to find out uh, in that same conversation, that same narrative. It's just that we're working smarter now and not harder, right? Exactly. Like, that's what it comes down to, is that eventually you realize, oh, there's an easier way to do it, right? Well, that's kind of hard to what, accept. That's what sports entertainment as a whole. <laughs> uh, like you said, even sports in general. Think about what players today. Think about the NBA. The yes. NBA was notorious for partying. There wasn't a strip club that wasn't visited mm -hmm. once the Bulls were in the area, right? So... Yeah, the players and the owners the and the managers are smarter now. They are protecting yeah. their investment because if you of keep course. them out of the clubs and you keep them healthy, there's more return on deposit, you know? Yeah. So, right. I mean, that's that's all it is. It's just Except damn like... Except Lou Williams, but, you know. <laughs> Maggie City well, Williams, you know what I mean? is too, <laughs> Shout out to Cheetahs. But, um... But what I'm saying... <laughs> 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 But, you know, one of the things I, I was sort of getting from the, I think it was from the Joe Rogan uh, podcast, was like, like, Taker was saying for, for some of the talent, right, like, uh, he feels like they're maybe a little too pretty. And I can I can sort of get behind that in the sense that you don't really see a lot of guys that, that look like they're they're down to fight, you know? Like, okay, it, 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 it's more about the moves than about trying to, you know, win or beat the shit out of someone. It's it's like let's let me try to get my toe pay off. Yeah, and then, so and that's so kind of, that part I, I can understand. Props. Yeah, that's why I give props to uh, Jay White because he addressed the, those issues and everything and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, mm -hmm. I I just dig that dude Jay as a whole. White. That's an interesting name to bring up this kind this season. Mm -hmm. Let's see, no, let's but see you know what, what? transpires. No, he might be a free agent. He might, might be a free so agent, and uh, the rumble is like pretty chubby. what ten days away. Ten days yeah. away. You never know. That could be a secret entrance right there. Let's see. Let's see. I like, like that name. Who um, you got? Hold on. Hold on. Other people. Rob, hold on. Rob, who you got as a secret possibility here? Because we gotta ask Rob, right? Like, oh, here, word. It's Rumble season, baby. We got surprises galore. There's thirty possibilities, and at least one of them is an old fuck. So. Uh, it, oh yeah. It's gonna be. <laughs> I believe. I believe there might be a couple of those. I, I, just because of the climate, and you know, we we, we talked about this um, constantly on one of my shows, wrestling this trash. But <laughs> it's just WWE and AEW to a certain extent. It's just you know, all these companies right now they are hindered by the pandemic. They only have a certain crop of talent that they can work with. That's why you don't see a lot of new motherfuckers coming in, even though they signing them and tucking them down in the performance center or whatnot. That's why you keep seeing the same recycled shit on Raw, and they're trying to spice it up on SmackDown, but for the most part, it's the same people over and over and over and over again because they can't get people in there safely. They got people stuck in other places that can't make the journeys and the trips and all that other stuff. So I don't foresee too many new people popping up at the Rumble, and if it is, it's just going to be somebody that hadn't been on TV in a while. Okay. So I don't think there will be any, like, surprise, surprise, like a AJ Styles was when he first popped up or something like that. It will just or... be somebody that we hadn't seen in a while, a, a, a la Alistair Black, maybe. Um, Damn, if I haven't heard that in a while. Exactly. See, so that would be a surprise when he pop up. 
Bro, I mean, I would even go. Pop? I would venture as far as to say maybe, possibly, maybe, possibly, John Cena. Mm. I think that's almost mandatory this year. And he would he come out that number thirty, so he can relive the thirteen-year-old uh, thing when he came back at that other Rumble in two thousand eight. See, see the problem is though, <laughs> John Cena, John Cena appearing, it almost I fear he wins it. I think he wins it. <laughs> See, and this, this is vibes, good, though. Right? Like, this, no. this is good, though. This is good, though. Because it kind of brings it full circle with him in The Miz if he did win. Oh. And you know what? It eliminates okay. Goldberg, right? It eliminates yeah. Goldberg out of the equation, does it? Yeah. No, and then, you know, even even if Cena didn't come back, my, my whole thing is, because we talked about it before and I heard some other people say it, Goldberg wins the title at the Rumble. Big E wins the Royal Rumble, and we get two big meaty men slapping meat. <laughs> I would like oh Big E winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> I would, Yo, oh, I would wow. love to see Big E win that shit. That's only cool. I'm only down with that if Big E squashes him at Mania. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like how he squashed Bray and Kevin Owens and uh, yeah, nearly right. killed like, him. Like he tries to shoot him for the spear but gets picked up into the big ending? Mm-hmm. And we never see him again. again. But but is the big ending really no, the, what's going to put Goldberg yeah. away? Like, is it really? Why not? No. Off the top about... rope? Off the top rope? Sure. Off the ship. Off the pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> or or, or how, about, how about for a little bit of karma, it's a mule kick to the head. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Well, you, you know what? Ooh. Honestly, Big E can just stand there and not do nothing. Goldberg will hurt his fucking self. <laughs> <laughs> well, bro, so, no, the, the match is taking place in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> nah, man. Isn't this a great opportunity for Big E to now adopt the jackhammer as a finisher? I would like yes. that. I would like yes. that. But the big ending, like you said, is just not it. Like, it's not it, bro. It's not it. It's, nah. and, All that muscle for that? Nah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All that muscle for that. I think the spear is Very all done. You should probably avoid it. But the jackhammer? Bro, I, he's got the. He looks like he got the strength for it. That would be a perfect move for him. Yeah, he's been rocking he, with that. He's been rocking with that move for a long time. I think he even had that in NXT. So it's, it's time to refresh and get something new in there. Absolutely. Uh, be, I hope Ziggler's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Another soft ass finisher. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna be a champ, like you you need that impactful finisher. Uh, you know what I mean? Like that's part of the show. I'm gonna so, jump up and throw you from behind. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen. Listen, I'm like nothing, that's, that's the reason why, why, why Goldberg is even still relevant. Because of the impact of his moves. He knows three of them, but they're amazing when he pulls them off. When he pulls them off. Right? The greatest Goldberg match of all time is him versus Diamond Dallas Page. Ooh. Bang. Yeah. For sure. And, yeah, and, and wasn't he knocked out in that one, too? Did he? I don't know. I don't I think, think we're going to see DDP because he worked for AEW. Ooh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. So Yo, what, if, now. He's on the cold what if all of Bullet Club fucking comes out? Because fucking the 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 Rumble, I don't even know if they can can have a thirty man lineup. Like, do they even yeah. have thirty available bodies? I have no. I bet you they some will well, be you know, changed up wait, last minute because of COVID. Well, you know, Jinder Mahal coming back. So, oh man, Jinder Mahal. Is that only because, I, and I only say Jinder. that because they got the India show coming up. So oh, that's right. That's true. Ah, ah, you playing the so long does, game, okay? So, so does gender screw McIntyre? That's what I hope. Cause okay, you know, cause I mean, we already wow. know that they're best of friends, so that's that only makes sense that they fight. Yeah, that makes sense. But that's that's question, question for you guys. Same question. thing with Sheamus. Sheamus so probably some to shenanigans too. With with Beth with Beth Phoenix coming back last night at NXT, you guys think that Edge is gonna be a um, for the Royal Rumble, I, I have a feeling he might. Yes. Um, he's what? penciled in there. I think, I he's think if bot. he is well, I don't think he should be in the Rumble. Or if he is at the Rumble, it should be something with him and Randy because they got to finish that shit off and be done with it, and he can move the fuck on. Because what if he costs Randy the Rumble? Randy's like, like part of the Final Four. Yeah, and, that, and that's fine. That's, that's, that's cool. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Because if yeah. Edge is in the Rumble, you run the risk of doing that shit like what they did with Daniel Bryan. Everybody wanted him to win, and if he don't win, it's going to be some problems. Okay. That's true. 
Okay. And besides, Edge is not gonna get the pop he got last year. Like it's just, it's not gonna. I happen. was there for that. It was amazing. It was amazing. Oh, we oh, saw man. grown people crying. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's not gonna right. be that anymore. So I it's ain't cry, but I flipped the, the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I said grown people, not us, particularly. You know what I mean? But, yeah. I was like, oh, Edge, it's cool. You know? See, see yeah. it, it was cool for me because I got to see two people tonight that I really enjoy. I got oh, to see Edge welcome, come man. back, so that was monumental. I think that's the greatest Royal Rumble, you know, comeback entrant of all time. And damn, MVP you is my guy. It? Forget to see MVP come back. Oh my god, MVP was over there. Word, but the man, they did good bringing him back. Yeah. Oh.